So you're wondering, what do you get the coffee lover in your life? Today, I'm sharing with you my 2022 coffee lovers gift guide. Hey guys, welcome back to Maze of Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're talking my 2022 coffee lovers gift guide. So whether you've got a coffee lover in your life or you're a coffee lover yourself, I've got you covered. But before we get into the video, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'm looking to make 25K friends by the end of December, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You guys know you can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok where I make daily coffee recipe videos. In fact, right now I'm going through a really fun uh, coffee advent calendar. You don't want to miss out. You can find me at Maison Molly on Instagram and TikTok. Let's explore my 2022 coffee lover gift guide. Alrighty guys, so I'm really proud of this list. I think it's a nice extensive list and it ranges from, you know, if you're a new coffee lover, you're just starting out on your coffee journey, or if you've been doing coffee for a while, if you've got a coffee lover in your life, if you are the coffee lover, I've pretty much got you covered across the board. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you guys my ultimate wish list, like the thing I want the most right now as a coffee lover. Let's get started. So if you are the person that you're shopping for is new on their coffee lover um, journey, then I would 100% hands down suggest a Nespresso Virtuo Plus. Right there, that's my Nespresso Virtuo Plus. Um, I've been rocking with a Nespresso Virtuo Plus for about uh almost four years now maybe three yes i think this is my fourth year maybe with my nespresso virtual plus and i absolutely love it it's a great start off to coffee um i love it because it does offer different cup sizes so whether you're looking for espresso a full cup of coffee a longo whatever it is you want virtual has got you covered there are also lots of sales on the machine right now as it's holiday season so i will link everything down in the description for you guys now, if you've already got an Espresso Virtual machine and you want something else that's just as easy but great for espresso, then I would suggest to you the Creatista. So I actually just got my Creatista earlier this year. Um, I've had an, an Espresso Original Line machine probably for almost two years now and I just wanted to upgrade it, you know, and um, make it more beautiful and more efficient. So I opted for the Creatista again. I love this machine for convenience in the mornings when I'm rushing and I need espresso shots like this. It's the way to go. It's a beautiful machine. It has a really nice built-in frother, really great settings. Again, I'll link it down below for you, but if you want something that's quick and easy, beautiful and efficient, I suggest the Creatista Plus. Now we're gonna step into the big leagues, right? So, you know, you've been on your little espresso coffee journey for a little bit now, and you're looking to step up your game, advance your game a little bit, then I would definitely suggest getting an actual espresso machine. As you guys know, I have Brie. She's my Breville Barista Touch. I'll insert a clip, or actually, you know, let's, let's, let's shift a little bit so y'all can see Brie. Brie is right there, right there. Brie is my Breville Barista Touch, and I absolutely love it. I will be honest, I don't use her as much as I use the other two machines, but if you're looking for strong, flavorful coffee, then this is the way to go, because those two machines aren't gonna give you the flavor as an actual espresso machine will. So I really do love Brie. I use her a lot on like my days off. Um, when I just wanna be in the moment with my coffee, really intentional about it, I'm looking for a nice whimsical coffee moment, then Brie is giving that to me. Now the Breville Barista Touch, I have this one, I like it a lot. Um, it seams your milk automatically. Um, you have the settings of your favorite drinks programmed in. It's a really cute machine. There's also the Breville Barista Pro. That one doesn't have a touch screen and it's a little bit less, but overall, this is the one that I would vote for. Another one that I see around the market that people are really liking is the Bambino. Quite a few of you guys have got it already. It seems like a cute little machine. I do love Brie because every it's like 
all encompassing so it has like a grinder built into it and all of that if you did get the bambino you would have to get like a separate grinder and all of that but again i think that it's a really good breville option as well now if you want to step away from machines you'd like to do things a little bit more manually perhaps you're purchasing for somebody in your life who isn't like really into machines or they just want to do things more simple then i would suggest pour over pour over is quite an experience i've probably got like four different pour overs but these two are my favorite so first up is going to be this oxo pour over this is what it looks like guys it's so super easy literally let me grab a cup i'll show you guys all you have to do is sit the pour over right like that on your cup You'll put a little filter in here, add your ground coffee, and it has a really cool rain shower effect that will just go ahead and pour it right on into your cup. So you'll know exactly how much water to add. So if you're going for like a 12 ounce cup, go ahead, add 12 ounces of water. If you only want eight, you go ahead and do that. Super easy, super efficient. If you're going on vacation or anything, very easy to just pack in your bag. So I really do recommend this OXO pour over. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more sleek, um, really aesthetic, then I would suggest the Chemex. So if you guys saw my holiday unboxing video from last year, I'll link it here for you. I got a Chemex. I actually really love it, but I'll admit I don't use it as much. It's a very specific kind of brewing device. And again, this one, like when we went to the mountains, I took it for us. It totally fit that vibe, like very slow living, very intentional way to make your coffee, but it is beautiful really easy as well you just use a nice little filter you do um the next thing on my list actually will accompany this purchase um but you use a nice little pour over kettle and it makes really tasty coffee like i really do like it but again it's like guys i have i have so many different ways to brew coffee i have three machines i have um like three pour overs i have a french press i have cold brew so at this point probably 10 or 11 different ways to make coffee of course i'm not going to use everything all of the time but this is really easy and i think that um the person who loves coffee in your life would enjoy it now you can't quite have pour over coffee honestly without a lovely kettle this this is my fellow kettle. It's beautiful. I got it in the shade of pink. Pours quite easily. Now, this kettle is electric. It does come in a regular version. However, I prefer the electric because it heats up really nicely. You can pick the temperature that you want to set it on and it'll go to that setting. Um, it holds the heat for up to an hour, which is great. So once you brew it up to like, I don't know, 200 degrees, it'll stay at 200 degrees for an hour. All you need to do is just grab your kettle and refill your glass. Um, I actually use this a lot for tea, probably more than I use it for coffee, but it's great if you want to do pour over or if you want to make tea. It also comes in a slew of beautiful colors, so whatever your aesthetic is, whatever your vibe, you can definitely find that in the fellow kettle. Now, I've realized whether I'm using, well, a lot of my machines do have a built-in milk frother, but if I'm using my Virtual Plus, or even sometimes if I'm using my Creatista, depending on what kind of froth I'm looking for, if I'm using my Chemex or my other pour overs, you need a really good milk frother as a coffee lover. And the one that I would actually suggest the most is my Maestri House milk frother. This thing, pretty amazing. So you guys already know, I do have an Arachino. It's probably the one that I use the most right um because i'm making like single cups for myself but these are the reasons why i love the maestri house it is massive so i really like to use this one actually the most for making hot chocolate my husband loves hot chocolate and this one you can control the settings so you can change the temperature on this milk frother um i think there's like three temperature settings that's something that i cannot do with my nespresso arachino one you can also change the froth level on this one again something that i cannot do on my nespresso um freestanding milk frother i love that about it but look at how massive this jug is 
you can fit a lot in here. So whenever I'm making like big batches of hot chocolate, I use this. When I need to steam a lot more milk than usual, I will use this. I really like it. It's at a good price point. I don't know what the price point is right now, but I'm pretty confident it's like under $100. So I really like this one. Another item that I think the coffee lover on your list might enjoy is the Hydro Chiller. So I'll give you guys a close up look. This is what it looks like. The Hyper Chiller. I always call it the Hydro Chiller. It's Hyper Chiller. The Hyper Chiller is a game changer. I use this a lot more in the summer. It's always in my fridge like this. That's why you, it's like it's ice right now. Uh, but the purpose of this is like, let's say you brew your coffee and it's piping hot so that you don't have to sit there and wait for it to cool down. There's a spout right here. You just pour your coffee into there. You swirl it around. Sometimes even when I'm using Virtuo, if you guys can see, I will remove this. I'll put it right there and I will brew a 7.7 .7 ounce pot directly into the hyper chiller. I'll give it a little swirl, 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 and it completely cools your coffee down right away. So this is a game changer if you need to cool your coffee right away. And it's really great, especially for those iced lattes and iced coffees that you're baking in the summertime. It doesn't matter what machine you have, this one is essential. If your person is really advanced and they already have a actual espresso machine, then I would suggest, you know, keeping it cute, keeping it fancy, and getting them a nice portafilter. So I actually love this portafilter. It is by Crema Coffee Products. I've got quite a few things from them. In fact, I just received a box from their Black Friday sale that I haven't even opened yet. But I love this portafilter. It's really sleek and beautiful. Um, all about the aesthetics, but it's also a bottomless porter filter, so it just gives better extraction. Your coffee will come out of here instead of those two little spouts. And if you've got a coffee lover in your house that already has an espresso machine, they come in different sizes, and it's a gift that's under a hundred bucks that's aesthetically beautiful and high functioning. So I think that your coffee lover or you might enjoy this. Now, I know I haven't been keeping count, but I think that we're about at number nine on my list. And number nine, it's essential. It's coffee, right? Now, whether your person has a machine like the Nespresso's or they have a manual espresso machine, I've got suggestions for both. I love it when people give me Nespresso gift cards because your girl spends a lot of money there. I think last year they said I had something like 1500 cups of coffee. That's actually 1500 pods. Um, Y'all can break how many sleeves that is down, but that's a lot of coffee. So when friends and family like give me like a $50 Nespresso gift card, I truly appreciate it because that's like five sleeves of coffee right there. So give your person a nice Nespresso gift card. It's easy peasy and they'll really appreciate it. Now, if your person has an actual espresso machine, here are two coffee companies that I'm currently loving that I think that you can purchase a gift card for them or if they have like a subscription box. Most of the coffee bean companies will do like reoccurring orders. So two that I'm loving right now, the first one is gonna be Kova Coffee Roasters Coffee Company. I think they're based in Seattle and I first got introduced to them through fellow coffee products. Oh my gosh, they've got cute stuff too, but well, we already talked about the, yeah. Remember this guy? Yes, fellow coffee products. I got introduced to Kova through them because I had spent a certain amount and so I got a bag of beans for free or for less money or something like that. And the bean that I got, let me look it up, let you guys know. It was the Esso Blend. It's honey crisp apple, dark caramel, chocolate covered fruit. And it is freaking delicious. And ever since then, I've been continuously getting coffee from them. Um, again, you can opt to get your person a nice gift card from whomever their favorite coffee roaster is. But I strongly do suggest Kova because their beans are pretty delish. Another coffee roaster that I quite enjoy is Brick House Coffee and Tea. So I'd like to say they're based in either South Carolina or North Carolina. I love it because one, they are a black owned business. So I'm here for it. We always wanna support our black owned businesses. But two, their coffee is freaking amazing. 
So one of my coffee friends, Biscotti, actually sent me some of their coffee and it was like so sweet, delicious. They had a salted caramel. I wanna say they had like a pecan one that was really good. Ooh, the chocolate almond was really yummy. So if you're thinking about getting your person like a coffee subscription or a nice gift set of beans, I definitely suggest Brick House Coffee and Tea. Number 10 on my coffee lover gift guide is a beautiful cup. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty obsessed with mugs and cups and things. I've got fall mugs when fall is over. I pack it all up and I put it in the garage. Now we're currently on um, my Christmas mugs. So those, maybe you guys can see, they're all in here. And this is just some of them. Like those are all of my Christmas mugs. Um, so get your person a beautiful mug. Depending on how much you've got to spend, um, you can get a mug literally for five bucks or you can get a really nice like designer mug, I don't know, for 300 bucks. It depends on what you want. Um, some of my favorite places to shop mugs, I love Anthropology. They always have really beautiful ones. This little Santa boot is one of my favorite mugs from Anthropology this season. Of course, you can also find really cute mugs at Target, like this is their gingerbread house from this season. There's so many places, but Every coffee lover needs a mug to put their coffee in, so I think this would be a really good idea. Now, last but not least, I told you guys I would share with you my coffee wish list gift. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, and to be honest, I probably won't get it this holiday season because it's quite expensive, but it's a Linea Mini. The Linea Mini is made by, I think the brand is called La Marzocco, and cha it is a beautiful thing but buying a Lydia mini is literally like buying a car okay you get to build it i think baseline the machine is in the 5000 range and then when you start adding bells and whistles different parts when i added bells and whistles on the website it took me to about eight nine thousand dollars for this machine so i always said I really want one of these machines, but I know that it's an investment and I really want to learn and grow on my coffee journey. And when I feel as though I'm ready for that one, I'm definitely 100% getting it. Like it comes in this beautiful, you can get them custom too. A lot of places do custom ones. So in a beautiful pink, you know, if you guys want to get me a Linea Mini for Christmas, I won't deny you that right, but um, it's definitely on my wish list. Guys, that's all I've got for you. Thank you for watching my 2022 holiday coffee gift guide. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what would you add to my coffee gift guide. Don't forget if you found value in this video and any of my other videos, go ahead and subscribe down below. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on Maison Molly today and I'll see you guys next time.